Yeah. And um, so you mentioned that you were in Dunedin um, before you were in Wellington. And um, so I know that you moved out of home sort of when you were 18, right? yeah. which is quite unusual um, in our bus speaker community. So what did you learn from that experience? Yeah, very unusual. And I wouldn't have probably moved out at all, but I'm so blessed. Um, I had a really good stint at high school. The last two years of my high schooling, um, I went to St. Cuthbert's College for seven years and then I went to King's College for my last two years. And loved school so much. Um, so I was actually set up um, to win um, scholarships um, to various universities and Otago University offered me a five-year faculty of law scholarship. So blessed to have received that and that was the kick out the door for my parents being like okay you know you can mm. you know we'll be comfortable in letting you come like go outside of the family and, and start journeying your life as a, as a young adult away from home mm. all my siblings stayed at home um, after school um, so I was very much um, you know out on the limb or just took a different different journey so yeah. In terms of moving away from home, um, I've always been quite independent um, and obviously having that age gap as well, doing my own thing and, and, and just, you know, taking those different opportunities. Um, I loved it <laughs> and um, I got plugged in with a good network down south um, and a good Pacific network as well um, who, yeah, were, you know, a family, family there. and. Um, and I was really well supported. Um, but I can understand now going away from the, the family how it does grow you um, mm. as an individual and as a young adult because you are no longer, I guess, in that family unit where people, where your parents know where you are 24-7 or, you know, you're, um, you're just walking a little bit more independently. And so um, for me it was awesome, but definitely a growing and a learning curve. Mm. But it's actually something now in my own life exper experience, I definitely um, do encourage people to be able to get out and, you know, especially for my faith journey as well, I was able to get out and walk on my own faith and see, you know, what are the things that are instilled in me as a young adult and whether I, whether or not I truly believe um, mm. in the things that I, you know, I have, I have grown up and learned and lived. and. Yeah, so it's a testing time, but I mean, that's the experience of life, really. Mm. Um, and so I loved it, and I stayed in wonderful contact with my parents. And I remember my mother, who, and my mother and my father both came down to Dunedin, and, and uh, there were lots of tears. I did. <laughs> um, and there were lots of tears and lots of prayers, but. Because um, yeah, it's not just down the road, eh? No, Dunedin. no, no, <laughs> it's not. And um, being the baby of the family as well, um, I don't think mum and dad intended on me, you know, having an, having an empty nest, as yeah. you'd say, um, straight out of high school. Mm. So, um, but that was like a God-given opportunity, and you can't really say no to um, such, I guess, the wonderful provision of scholarships that, yeah. that had been um, offered to me. Yeah. Um, and my parents, of course, are so encouraging of, of, every th of taking opportunities as they come. And mm. so, yeah, very blessed to have had that, I guess, exchange and depart from home into young adult life. And I, I didn't go straight into flatting. I went into a residential college, which I think provided me a really good basis of that support away yeah. from home. Um, and then I progressed into flatting and, and the like, yeah. yeah. <laughs>